Lucas' team was on a soil collection mission on Mars. Suddenly there was a super storm. The storm was too big. They had to cancel the mission and prepare for emergency evacuation. On the way to evacuate, teammate Mark was hit by debris from the storm. Visibility was almost zero at this point, and the signal on Mark's body was lost. The impacted Mark is likely dead. For the safety of the team, they had to abandon the rescue. The spacecraft left Mars. When the space agency got the news, Mark died in the line of duty, held a solemn memorial service. But what they didn't expect was, Mark didn't lose his life when he was hit. He woke up to the alarm of oxygen deprivation in his space suit. When he woke up, he found a nail in his abdomen. Other than that, he was fine. Mark was left all alone on Mars. He dragged his injured body back to the makeshift base. He treated his wounds with pain. This departure of teammates, it means that Mark will have to live here alone for four years. Because the exploration of Mars is once every four years. During this time, he will have to keep the oxygen and water circulating, and the air pressure of the base is working properly. Mark first took stock of all the food, because they came in a team of six. So they had 68 days worth of food. Now only Mark is alone. If he controls the amount of food he eats every day, he can still have enough food for 400 days. The next step is to solve the problem of food for three years. Fortunately, Mark is a botanist. When he saw these potatoes, an amazing idea came to him. That's right, growing potatoes on Mars. He first hauled the soil to the base. Then he put the vacuum-packed excrement and soil together and mixed it. Put the potatoes in the soil. Everything grows with water. The first problem is water. Luckily, Mark was good at chemistry. He first created hydrogen and oxygen and ignited it to produce water. He cheered with joy when he saw the water droplets flowing. Before he could finish being happy, he was blown away directly after finding the problem. He tried again. Success finally solved the problem of water. On the 54th day, the potatoes had sprouted. On the 79th day, he had a bumper crop of potatoes. The big ones were saved and eaten. The small ones were buried back in the soil as seeds. At this point, Mark didn't choose to sit around and wait for death. He had to find a way to get in touch with Earth. When he looked at the map, with a slight smile on his face, he already had an idea. He thought of the 1997, the Pathfinder that was sent to Mars. If he found the Pathfinder, maybe he could make contact with Earth. Then he drove to the location of the Pathfinder. At this time, the space agency's crew noticed anomalies in the satellite footage of Mars. The battery panels at the base not only became clean, but also shifted. Continued observation reveals that the Mars rover keeps moving. All signs point to Mark being alive. Then a conference was held, released the news that Mark is still alive, and said that the space agency will do its best to rescue. The space agency deduced from Mark's movement. He must have been looking for the Pathfinder. Then experts found the old equipment. They were ready to dock with Mark. Mark went to the location where it had been parked. And he found it. After a lot of work, he dug up the Pathfinder. Then he loaded it onto the Mars rover and brought it back to the base. After his repair and debugging, the space agency finally received the signal. Mark set up a few signs. He asked if the other side could receive it. One said yes and one said no. Half an hour later the camera pointed to yes. Finally contacted the Earth. But this equipment is to backward. Not only can only transfer pictures. There is also a delay of up to 30 to minutes. To solve this problem, he drew a circle around the Pathfinder. Then used his foot as a ruler to measure. Placed 16 signs around it created a simple hexadecimal communication method. Luckily, his teammates had the intelligence of geniuses, quickly understood Mark's intentions. As the camera rotated, Mark recorded the letters the camera was pointing at, translated down to, are you okay? Because now more complex conversations can be had, NASA taught Mark to hack into the rover's computer, so that the rover could be linked to the Pathfinder's broadcast frequency. It can communicate in real time. The experts told him the whole world was rooting for him. The Earth side is working on a rescue plan, Supplies were also being prepared. Mark immediately burst into tears when he received the news. The space agency said, This site has been compressing the time to build rockets to send supplies. If things go well, supplies can be delivered 50 days before the food runs out. But the unexpected always comes to suddenly. This day Mark returned to the potato farm. The pressure suddenly went out of control, causing the tar to burst. Mark was blown away again. The rupture of the cap caused the oxygen level to be too low. He quickly took out the tape he carried to repair the cap. Planted potatoes were instantly frouncing to death by the sudden drop in temperature. Seeing all the results go down the drain, he could only roll out the a few times. Then he sealed the door of the base with a tar. After NASA got the news, according to Mark's existing food projection, if we follow the previous plan, Mark would have died of starvation before he got there. They had to build the ship. The time to deliver supplies was again compressed. Due to the time constrained, after the rocket was built, it was launched without testing and debugging. As a result, the rocket was tilted just after launch. With an explosion months of hard work was all for naught. Everyone felt desperate. Just then, the great Chinese space agency stepped in. The Chinese space agency was secretly working on the Helios program to save the astronaut decided to abandon the Helios program. At the same time, a physicist approached the space agency. After some calculations, he found a more perfect rescue plan. 
Now Mark's teammates are returning to Earth. They can circle the Earth and re-enter Mars. Docked with supplies from the Helios booster, pick up Mark and return to Earth together. That's a good idea, but first they need to get Mark's team to agree. Because this operation would not only increase the risk to the entire team, it would also delay the return to Earth by 533 days. The team received the news and unanimously agreed to pick up their teammates and return home together. At this time, the Chinese booster was successfully launched and successfully completed the space docking. Mark gathers his equipment, getting ready to head to the landing site 30 kilometers away. When he got here, he encountered a new problem. By calculation, Mark's vehicle could not reach the intended altitude. What he had to do now was to reduce the weight of the launcher by 5,000 pounds. To complete the docking, he then put the side cover, the extra seats, the top cover and everything else he could throw away, and then replace the top cover with a piece of Cantus. Although this success seems a bit unreliable, but it was his only chance to survive. He's going home soon. Mark cleaned himself up a bit. He shaved and styled his hair. People all over the world are watching this rescue, silently cheering him on. As the countdown ended the booster lifted off quickly, the tarp roof was blown off instantly. As the booster rises, Mark showed an expression of pain, because the gravity on his body is increasing, rising 740 meters per second. The force of gravity broke his ribs, so he fainted. A few minutes later Mark made it to space. The team locked onto Mark's position, and calculated Mark's current speed. His current speed was 68 meters per second. There was no way to complete the docking. The captain had a quick idea. She plans to blow up one of the ship's valves, using the thrust from the explosion to slow down. Although the method is very dangerous, but in order to save the team had to risk it. They used the existing materials to temporarily create a bomb. Then the bomb was placed on the valve. With an explosion, the speed of the ship instantly slowed down. The captain tied the cable and flew to Mark, but because the cable was not long enough, there is still a distance from Mark. Seeing this situation, Mark cut his spacesuit, using the gas emitted from the spacesuit, push him in the direction of the captain. But because of the speed, when the two hands touch instantly slipped, luckily Mark grabbed the cable in time. The captain also desperately pulled him back. With the continuous efforts of the two, finally succeeded in catching each other. When Earth learned the news, the whole world cheered. After returning to Earth, he told the new trainees in the studio about his legendary experience, teaching them not to give up on themselves when they encounter problems, to learn to deal with problems. The only way to succeed is to move forward. If you were stuck on Mars in such a situation, what would you choose to do? Leave your thoughts in the comments section. This is the end of the movie. If you like it, remember to click on the like and attention.